Hi, this is Kevin with KGM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. Also, if you get a chance, go to eBay, type in KGM Jam, and check out my eBay store. And here we are, end of season, July 31st. And I've got 44,726. So, uh, real quick note, if you haven't heard yet, DraftKings has shut down out of the blue uh we knew they were in court fighting over some lawsuit but yesterday at two o'clock i get an email saying that as of that moment they are shutting down the marketplace and all nfts um they sort of promised a compensation in some way shape or form for the rainmaker nfts and uh we'll have to if we want to take them off the site, we can transfer them to our wallets. Such a, and the only option they have is MetaMask, and then from there you can send it to a whatever wallet it is you use. So MetaMask is right now the only choice you have. Um, kind of devastating. Uh, that was one of my big four platforms that I thought was you know one day the sky the limit type thing. And did not see this coming, and from what I understand, nobody did. In fact, as of last night, they were selling their new packs, the drop for the golf uh, tournament coming up this weekend. Uh, so, still waiting for more information. I will be making a video to explain what happened and how I'm faring. Uh, as of right now, I got over a thousand NFTs on it. Big, uh, I'm, I'm actually in the green on it because I've withdrawn more than I've put in and uh, I'll go over that but I've got some very nice NFTs on there I got the one of one of um, the quarterback for Buffalo I can't remember his name all of a sudden uh, there's only one of those and I've got it I've got the number one mint of um, the UFC bo boxer uh, and I can't remember her name M M Tate Melissa Tate Got hers. That's where I got. I got several number one mint out of 33 uh, of the NASCAR, and uh, I got a lot of Tom Brady. Now, a, a lot of those were done through autograph, so all, they were still over there on autograph, but I they don't have a market so it's just weird right now. So more information in the next week or so. But if you haven't heard, that's what happened. Another reminder that that's how it happens. You they you literally can think everything's fine, <laughs> and you get that email, and it's not. And uh, that's just something as you invest, you have to keep in mind. Uh, Spoilerlands wasn't my top four that I thought was going to make it. It's it's still I believe in it. Uh, so, but I, I had it at a fifty fifty, and I still do. DraftKings, I had it 100%. VV, I got it 100%. Candy NFT, I got it 100%. And what's the other one? There's a fourth one. But the point is, it just, uh, wow, yeah, how do you know? The good news is, I can take those NFTs off. Now, here's the problem. Ethereum, they're on the Ethereum network. So, you're talking average $10 to $80 per item to, sh to, to transfer. Uh, they might. I don't know if you can do a group transfer. I'll try that if I can. Either way, it's going to be expensive. So I will, of course, keep the best ones. And then the rainmakers. The bulk of them is rainmakers, which are the ones you've got of the players to play the 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 um, the uh, what do you call it? The games, fantasy games for football and golf and UFC. So maybe seven hundred. Of the, th the thousand is just and they're supposed to buy those back off of us because they're absolutely useless now without the game of rainmakers other than a collectible so i guess they're not useless but i've got some very good ones like number ones i've got a lot of uh patrick mahomes you know all the stars i'll take those off and the rest of them i'll just have to let go because they are, are, are selling back to them anyway let's get to splinter lands what this is about uh let's go claim And then let's go and with the 44,000. Oh, I got to get the wild past. Do I have to do that before I shop? 
No. Good. Okay, I'll do that later. All right. Um, we got merits from the guild, which also ended sometime last night. So we'll be opening up a pack of, of uh, guild gladius pack. But right now, I'm going to do one legendary. But before that, I want to get open that. So I got some potions. How many potions do I got? I got 12 and 0. That's for the gold. And that's for the legendary. So let's get some more. Let's open two. Okay, and of course, the one time I want potions, I'm not going to be able to get them. See, that's that's well, that's a rare. So that's about two thousand uh, worth of glint. So that's not too bad. I thought those were commons. I got another potion of gladius, and I still got plenty. So let's go another. Let's go another two. And what I got? I still got zero of the. Okay, five thousand confirmed. That hurts because that's common. There's six of them, so you're talking 600 glint worth. And the five energy, yeah. All right, I'm down to 36. I, I don't want to go below 25, so let's go two more. Okay, <laughs> it's not going to give me any gold. Though I can do one more. And no, no such luck. Okay, let's go do the legendary. And that should do it. I might have enough left for a couple commons. Nice. I don't think I even have that one. Okay, so I've got... Well, actually, i got enough for another... Well, too late now, but... Let's go ahead... How much do I got there? 35. God, that's small. It's hard to read. Okay, I'm going to do... I'm trying to finish off my commons. So let's go do 35 commons. And then we're going to open three Gladius packs. Now, I had a problem with my extension a couple days ago. Uh, nothing would fetch. It started off in Golem Overlord. And the only way I fixed it was by... I tried everything. And then what I eventually did was uninstalled the extension. And... Ooh, nice. And then uh, I got two gold out of that. Um reinstalled it and changed the password and now everything's working uh kind of weird i don't know what caused it what what did it but it's working fine now all right let's go do some gladius okay in the tavern we won 39 crown I need. I'm gonna have that done by the time I think we're upgrading the barracks next. But I got a while. Each fully, and then we got 1950 merits and 23 SPS. That's why you got to be in a guild, guys. You got to be in one. I mean, that's the best deal going as far as getting free stuff, right? All right. So let's go to the buildings. Let's go to the store. And visit store. Mm. 
Okay, Gladius case. Let's do three. Items. And mana well, that's what I wanted. Okay. And let's go ahead and open all three. When I you know when I say spring it's 50-50, because we just don't know. I mean it, it it they're doing the best they can. It sounds good, we've got a year to go. Um, but you just don't know. I mean What's going to happen tomorrow that has nothing to do with NFTs but affects them? You know, people just don't have money. Uh, there's no, we don't have a good reputation. Can we get enough people in to support them, or do we have enough in already if they just maintain and you know budget themselves? It's a bunch of question marks there. But uh, like everybody, I'm hoping it works and going to go down with the ship if that's the case. Uh, the nice thing is if they did, I, I imagine we own these cards. And these cards, they could put them into another game. Somebody else, you know, who knows. Uh, if that's the case. And then we could, so you'd have to send all these over to, I don't know, your Coinbase wallet or you know, whatever to get. Okay, no gold, no legend. Oh, I got an epic. I got two epics. Nice. Okay. Let's go and look what that legendary was. Let's see if that's a new one for me. So right now we're going to do Gladius only. Own Soulbound. I've only got one gold. Let's go to the regular. And let's combine. Let's see the epic. i got a couple epic. So good. I can upgrade on the epic. All right. Combine all. I haven't heard the uh, the guild's new podcast they put out. I think it was this morning. I'll listen to it later on. But that's been a other than the you know the the weekly or the monthly shows they're doing. The the um, the team that this is probably the best way to get they got guests on that can give us some insider information. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's go. Let's take that off. And let's go to legendary. And that is my that is my first one of that. I did not have one. Cool. All right. And now let's combine them all. And of course, uh, SBS just broke an all-time low. I think it's down in the fives, maybe even lower because I haven't looked at it since last night. So let's go there now. Uh, it's almost back up to six. So we might have hit it. All right, and we're going to do land real quick. Let's do these proposals while I got it open here. Okay, sell bound reward card proposal, immediate and ongoing accessibility. Uh, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I, I, I'm, I know, you, you know, guys know how I feel about the bots. I, I thought they were I, I hated them at first because I was going along with what everybody but the more I researched it I think the bots were very beneficial uh, so I don't I don't care if they come in and farm I really don't I'd welcome it in fact I think we should I think we should do a 180 and start advertising bot friendly uh, at least in in this you know let the soul bounce let them farm because if they farm they're buying, they're selling, and we've gotten rid of the bots, and it's gotten worse. So that bots obviously were not the problem. Okay, so let's go. Oh, that was the uh, convert and power up swap hive. It's I'm going with the flow on that one. Okay, uh, let's go to the land. Use the. Uh, Bronze Dragon does a good ex explanation or after sound on what those uh, proposals are. Usually, it's it, lately it's been just uh, Bronze Dragon. And I think after sounds on vacation. I haven't seen a video from him in a while. 
I think he said the last one I saw that he was going on vacation. Okay, let's go claim land. Now, here's my land situation. I've got, how many do I got? I got eight, right? And this one, I'm just about to open up in a few days. This one right here. This is the four I bought Why watching Bronze Dragon Saturday morning stand-up. And I got two days left. And I've got it partially filled and almost about half filled with S or E uh, DC. And I've only got three. I'm just buying the best, cheapest, maxed out legendary to put on here. And I got two more to go. Then I'll get a totem. But this is going to produce grain. And the other three are going to produce grain. I bought all four of them to produce grain. And I got them for nine dollars a piece, guys. It was a great. I, it, he he was actually the one. I think who showed it, or was it gathering the match? Somebody did it during the show, and I ran there and grabbed them. And I, I'm gonna make all this grain because grain it, it it dries up quickly if you're trying to take care of your own properties. Okay, now let's go to this one. And guys, I still have not gotten a totem piece fragment ever. All right, this one produces grain only. So let's get it. No totem piece. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, I gotta go back, hold on. I wanna transfer the mount. Now I've got 804,000, so I'm going to do 4,028. And I'm going to send it to Yumbra. That should be enough to cover it. And I think Yumbra's doing uh, research points. That's going to give me 84 more. And I think they pull the research all together into one pull from all your land. No totem piece. And I've got 2,992, almost 3,000. Oh no, hold on. That's research right there. I got 1,743 research points. Man, I can barely see those numbers. All right, let's go back to here. And this one does grain too. And this takes care of the other two properties. All right, so go back to here. And now let's transfer. So I'm going to do 10,000 and send that to Thallus because I got two properties on that. So I got a total of what, eight, nine properties? Three of them, four of them aren't even open yet. It's going to be a slow process. And then the last 5,800. Point five one So let's go now and do these two. Harvest all. And I should have enough for all of them. And then we'll claim SPS. And I've got three accounts going. The other two, uh, 
WTF Bot 1 and Tarl Cabot. This one's SPS. They are, I got them all in the guild. Uh, we are looking for more people. I'm not going to upgrade till I get some more because I'll finish upgrading and then we'll just start adding DC and I'll get them all filled. Uh, but if you want to join a guild, send it's by uh, invite only or, or send me a request. And uh, all we ask is that you be active. That's it. Uh, I've been pretty much taking care of it. Uh, Trash Panda's put in some and gathering the magic and Claudius. Uh, you, if you want to help, great. And of course, don't donate it. Just put it in there. So if you ever decide you want to maybe go start your own or you're just whatever, uh, you get it, you get ninety percent of it back. I think type of thing. Okay, where am I at? I was I lost this one right here. Okay. Let's go to claim. We've got fifty five point nine two two. And there I go, almost nineteen and a half thousand. Not very impressive but I pretty much have never bought an ESPS and I've never spent any that I know of all right there we go so that's where I'm at with the three accounts um, I won't go do the other two I'll do that off screen but um, yeah so just uh, that's how quick it happens you know you just even if you think every like I said I did not even think for a second DraftKings was closing down or would close down uh, almost every platform I'm on is in some kind of a lawsuit over something but um, as I find out more information on that I'll find out but like I said the nice thing is just like with Recur when they did the, Recur, Recur did a rug pull they just totally same thing they showed up disappeared uh, after taken a lot of people's money and I only had five NFTs on it the Star Trek ships two of those I had a passport and then I think I only had three because because they I never trusted that platform to begin with and once I got the Star Trek and the passport I didn't like what I saw and I just said you know what I'm gonna and then it got worse and worse and I I, you know, that wasn't a surprise. And but the nice part was I could take them off and send them to another wallet. Same thing with uh, DraftKings. I, I just don't have the details yet. But um, so when you're, I guess, and again, this is not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. Listen to me at your own risk. I'm an expert at financial losses. If you're still here, that's on you. But I'm just saying, if you're going to put anything in, just keep that in mind. You know, just be responsible I guess and uh, would we all like this stuff to take off who want it we all want to and it one day will I'm really starting to believe that I went to thinking we were just on time four years ago I was like you know we're here and I've got some good stuff and now I just gotta learn how to do it and hell I can make a living off this maybe or you know who knows and uh, now I'm to we weren't on time we were early because I, I still believe in this technology I believe in the future of it but I'm starting to think when I'm watching what Disney does with it they might be on a 10 year plan maybe longer they they started this the Disney stuff started back in 2012 is the earliest evidence we can find out of San Francisco that they were even 
getting together and talking about it. So maybe it was even earlier than that. But so that's already 12 years. And I keep saying Disney because they got a big NFT stuff on the VV platform. We're already six years with Splinterlands. And, and of course, Splinterlands, you can tell, they never was, they wanted to do it now. But these big boys, Apple, Facebook, Disney, they might be on a 20, 30 year plan, guys. And I'm being very conservative. I'm hoping it's a lot sooner than that. But the, the biggest example is Disney. They they could put their NFTs on Disney Plus right now with, what, 200 million followers? And they haven't. And you're like, well, why would they be investing in NFTs? And, and, and they are, big time. Disney's very big on NFTs. Because of the residual money they're going to make off with the, the fidgetals fidgetals is an nft slash physical that comes with each other um you, you want to stay on top of that uh but i can see a day where in disney when you go buy winnie the pooh it comes with an nft code so you buy that you get the doll the parent gives the doll to the kid and or it's a collector they keep it together you know you can sell them both together but then you go online and you get the NFT, and then you sell that or collect it or whatever. Um, so why haven't they put it? Because they haven't put it on Disney Plus. Because not because they don't want to. It's because they're not ready to. D- Disney's and these guys, they got such a vision that they do 10, 20, 30 year plans, and then they lose money for that whole time. They don't care. If they make money, that's just a bonus. But because that's not what they're focused on. They're, they know that if they build the infrastructure first, then the market is theirs. That's about as easy as I can understand it. And that's kind of like where we're at. And then games like Splinterlands are at the mercy of us, the 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 few people that decide, you know, who see this vision also, or we think we do, and believe in it and will invest in it but I'm just seeing that right now all the people who are in it are in it there are no new players right now because that wall that once it busts open it won't be a trickle it will be a flood it will be a all consuming flood of new people coming in but it's just not there yet and they're not ready to open it and now listen now understand what I just said. That's what I'm trying to say. I believe they're not ready to open the floodgates yet. And until they are, the smaller platforms are dependent on the bigger ones and you know, Amazon, which runs all the I, I don't know how many companies run servers, uh, but they're the gatekeepers right now. So it's again and you're like, why would they do that? Because they're not ready to go mainstream yet. Disney will work on a ride for four years before they open it up. You know, and and four years. They're not in a hurry. I, you know, in a way, they're just more of concentrating on getting it done, doing it right, and then opening it up. And the people who are way early like us, we might be sitting on some things that in 10, 20, 30 years, at that point, you know, I'll be gone. I have to give it to my grandkids, but they might be sitting on an NFT that could be worth. You know, people will be searching for those early NFTs where they only made a hundred of them, or they made you know a thousand of them because there's a hundred million people trying to get into this stuff. Uh, it, so anyway, that's where we're at. Um, loving the game though. I like what Splinterlands is doing. I'm excited about it. I am cautious the 50 50 because i half of me thinks it's ain't going to make it half of me thinks it does but i i enjoy it i love the fact that they give us the choice to bot it or to play it okay that to me is beautiful um i do think we should attract we should do a 180 and advertise bot friendly and not the other way around i think getting rid of the bots and that that evolved. I if you go back to my earlier videos, I was like, 
yeah, I guess the bots is why everything's going down, you know, and, but it, it wasn't. Because if you go to, and here's an example, go to Immutable X, look at Gods Unchained. They are going up in unique accounts. They're at two and a half million or maybe, uh, up from a million and a half in the last year. And you're like, no way are those people, no, those aren't all people. Those are those are the same people that were playing here with their bots over their botting and farming. And, and it's, they did three million dollars in the last 10 days in business they got numbers that look good and you can have both if you're just the, if you hate bots you can play your game and let the and because they'll buy your cards the farmers will buy your cards they'll buy your properties they'll buy packs they'll buy because they need them to open up their farm now a way to that the you know to you know, regulate it, make get get make them pay the max amount where it doesn't chase them away, and it's still worth them to farm. But it helps the company survive, because a lot of us aren't spending what we used to spend on this game. That's a fact. But if you had farmers, they'd be opening up one farm after another after, another. and you can divide it. Keep you got modern, then you got bot land, which is called wild type of thing or you can even make a third one that's just bots See, there's so many things you can do I'm just saying I do believe the bots should be welcomed and and I only had one bot account and it wasn't good <laughs> I wasn't doing much at it and things were going down at the time so I'm not like a guy who had a big bunch of farms or anything I'm just talking about the data that I see anyway thank you for watching if you have any questions, please leave them below. Any answers, same thing. If you get a chance, go check out Pro Advertisers Club in my eBay store. Um, if you get a chance, uh, most of us are the same ones. If you notice, there is, aren't very any if at all new people promoting uh, Splinterlands. It's the same names over and over again. It's Gathering the Magic, Box 85, um, Bronze Dragon. Uh, some of the OGs uh, come in after sound. Thank you all for doing it. Appreciate it. Go support them. Uh, I got, I'm behind on videos. I got to go catch up on them. But um, th it's it's up. It's us. That's it. It's a small group of two thousand, maybe three thousand on a good day. Um, it's up to us to keep it going. And a lot of us don't have the finances to do it, or don't want to finance. Then do it in another way. But uh, you know. That, that's about all I can say and thank you guys and girls who's ever making videos and promoting this and trying to get it as as best as we can okay all right have a good one thanks for watching